IBM has set up its own end-to-end -end blockchain platform and says blockchain can change the world the same way the internet did. In fact, a lot of folks say that. Join me now in the C-suite, Bridget Van Kralingen, who is the Senior Vice President for Blockchain at IBM. Uh, Bridget, so great to meet you. A lot great of people, here, I think, still do associate blockchain with cryptocurrencies, but IBM has been offering its own blockchain platform for other uses. Can you just summarize what some of those are? Yes, and so the underlying technology in blockchain is a distributed ledger which is secure, it's permissioned, it's scalable, it's very fast, and so can be used to actually track and trace and verify many, many types of transactions or business processes. So from that point of view, IBM saw that and saw that the underlying technology is so powerful and we started to work with many, many clients around the world. And whilst it's early days, there are some very exciting ways which blockchain is changing companies and people's lives. And so as an example, ways, yeah. yeah, examples that are food. So we know if the remain latest we, uh, sc uh, scandal we've been dealing with recently in New York City, um, working with Wall Walmart and 10 other firms such as Tyson, Nestle and Unilever, we have put food safety on a blockchain whereby you can recall food in two seconds versus it normally takes, best case, six days to do recall. And 420,000 people a year die of food poisoning. Um, a second example in terms of the power of blockchain is one we announced last week, jewelry. Um, six diamond rings are, uh, six types of diamond rings are being trialed on blockchain now and we can show the complete provenance of the diamond ring from beginning to end to show that it was not made from conflict diamonds. 66% of millennials, of, of people around the world, 73% of millennials will pay more when they know the provenance of the item which they're actually getting. So Those that's the kind of impact. examples are great because they go to the trust issue uh, which a lot of companies that deal with food safety or something like diamonds um, deal with and blockchain offers that transparency right correct so when you create a network of members for blockchain you agree by consensus that the transaction is right so it's immutable and automatically creates trust which is why we believe thousands of networks around the world we're seeing for instance cross-border finance in Europe 50% of small businesses cannot get financing for exports. And with a cross-border finance consortium we're building with banks, um, we're able to meet the need and secure finance in, in, in moments rather than months. Mm -hmm. And it's this kind of impact where instead of cross-checking on each other, businesses and people can actually see simultaneously um, that a process is correct and the information is correct. So much efficiency there, and IBM's blockchain service is considered really the leader um, in the market when it comes to so-called enterprise blockchain services, but you are for now. I wonder how concerned IBM is about Amazon entering this space. Um, the AWS is entering the blockchain market uh, with similar offerings. Are there any plans to adjust IBM's offerings in response to Amazon? So we, we are very enthusiastic about all technology companies and many companies being part of this because that helps to scale and extend the uses of technology. Our approach to blockchain has been, been to create open standards. We've supported the Linux Hyperledger so that many companies can be part of it and that the governance is very open. That's the way new technologies scale by people coming involved. Blockchain's interesting. It's not just about the technology, it's about the business model and being able to convene an ecosystem of network participants. So really understanding both the industry um, and then understanding what enterprises need to run a technology we think is very differentiating about what IBM does mm -hmm. as against other competitors. I wonder if there are any plans for IBM to go into to the cryptocurrency aspects of blockchain. For now, it seems like it, it, it isn't touching that. So we have a an approach to blockchain which is around the distributed ledger and supporting the process of that ledger. Crypto is really a form of tokens that can be used in any network. And there are some great examples of where we're working with tokens. For instance, we're doing cross-border payments retail payments in low traded currency corridors where if you were to send money home or I was to a home in the Pacific Islands, it would take weeks. On a blockchain, you can do it in days. Mm -hmm. And we're working that with a number of banks. That's an example of using tokens. Um, another fantastic example of using tokens is what one area we're focused on is also social good. And so um, we're working with Plastic Bank which aims to make, create plastic into a digital token that can be traded and exchanged for goods. Wow. By 2050, 
the volume of plastic in the ocean will exceed the volume of fish. And Plastic Back's aim is to make, make that a tradable currency that people collect and recycle. Um, and so, again, improving inclusion and improving outcomes for the world. You know, uh, just as an aside, women are in key leadership positions on the blockchain team at IBM. There's yourself, of course, and also the lead developer is a woman. I wonder if you can just comment. And when you talk about social good and social mission being part of what's intrinsically uh, the blockchain model, why is that diversity important for innovation at IBM? So um, the diversity aspects of blockchain, I think, are incredibly powerful and will only continue to grow. And the reason I say that is because as well as being a technology that was born for collab collaboration, open, um, permission network, improving trust and transparency. The uh, idea of these networks for inclusion is everybody has to be a winner in the network. Mm. And so I think the idea that diverse people and perspectives will benefit versus a single dominant force is very interesting about, about blockchain. I think it'll appeal to many diverse people as it has in, in IBM um, and also will include groups all over the world. Um, we are working, for instance, with Twiga, a microfinance company mm. in Kenya, to extend loans on a blockchain by modeling real-time credit off a mobile phone, which could never be done without you a blockchain. Have thousands of clients, yeah. and some of them are really big deals. I wonder if you can tell us about any new projects that might be coming up. So we are hoping next week to um, announce that we will to be doing trading of carbon credits on a blockchain and just over this weekend you might have seen the announcements of Moby which was a which is a an, a, an exploration of whether we could track everything about a vehicle um, on a blockchain with um, BMW with with Ford and with um, with GM and then just last week we we um, announced um, recording ins insurance contracts on a blockchain and the fact that again provenance that you're insured can now be kept on a blockchain which we makes need life to easier for everyone. We transactions in every field now. It's incredible. That's why it's very early days, Stephanie. Yeah. And there is, of course, a lot of hype, but the underlying use of the technology um, and the ability to put together robust enterprise technology together with great business models we think holds potential for companies and for all people in the world. Maybe Warren Buffett will change his mind and start buying IBM again. <laughs> Bridget Van Kralingen, a Senior Vice President for Blockchain at IBM. Uh, such a pleasure to have you here with us in the And to be with you, Stephanie. Nice to meet you.